hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to show you how to restore your spearmint so as you can see I have a spearmint here that I just harvest in my garden and I put some in a vase so it doesn't get wilt so all you need to do is you need a scissors you need a scissor and a container to put in your spearmint so these are my spearmint as you can see this came from my garden there it is okay let's begin so what you do is make sure you check the leaf if they're okay <clears throat> and then once you check them you cut the leaves and pour it in your container just like this make sure there is no bugs in here okay so just check your leaf like this this is gonna take a while because it's a lot so this is what i do first I check the leaf and then after that so just continue to do this check for the bugs and make sure your leaf is clean just like that it's easy to use a scissor, guys. Then using your hand and try to peel everything. There you go. So this is what I do every year to store my experiment okay just like that is easy just cut the leaf and make sure there is no bugs okay so just continue to check the leaf if there's a bug and if you don't want to use a scissors, you can use your hand. Just go like this. If you think using your hand is the fastest way to finish this, then you can go ahead and do that. So, just like that. Check the leaf if there's no bugs. And then after that, you take the leaf out on the stem okay just like that it looks like using your hand is quickest is the quickest way to do this instead of using the spoon i mean sorry i mean if you instead of using the scissors scissor just use your hand just like this it's quicker first check for bugs none and then you go like this okay everyone so now i just had some of the leaf in my container i have some more in here but i'm just gonna just uh, show you how i restore this spearmint so here i have a um, vacuum seal I'm gonna use this one to store my spearmint and because we have a ice tea maker that uses a coffee filter so I am going to use the coffee filter to measure my mint and also for the vacuum seal you just have to like see how much how much um, spearmint goes in a bag 
so just you just kind of like um see how much how big your bugs gonna be at okay so let's begin so right now i'm just trying to make a bag for my experiment so i'm just trying a different sizes of a bag and i'm gonna try and put some in here and then i will have an idea how much um how big is my bag need to be so there we go i just see that and i have this kind of bag i usually have the other one but i'm out of it so i'm just gonna try to like figure it out how much bag i needed so let's see so then we're going to measure the experiment using the tea bag, I mean using the coffee filter. So that's all you need to do. Just fill this up like this and that's how we measure our experiment. Then you pour inside your vacuum seal bag just like that. Because again, our tea maker is using a coffee filter. So I am going to use the coffee filter to measure my experiment. So there you go, guys. Let's write that. And now I am going to vacuum seal it. And make sure when you vacuum seal this, your um, mode is, is on dry, not moist, okay? And yes, it's, this is going to be loud, so hold on a minute. This is 0.5 guys, so I have a scale in here. Um, this is how I measure my mint using the coffee filter. So we'll see how much, how many cup this is. It's easy to measure. Okay guys, look like this is a cup all the way to the top see so this is a cup so you can just use this measuring cup to measure your experiment so now I have all this bag ready so all I have to do is pour it in here and then just try kind of like Fix it like that, and now I'm gonna use this cup and see if it's gonna come up to 0.5 ounce. Okay, let's try. Okay, that comes up to point 0.4, so just add a little bit. So, it's one cup, guys. You can use your cup and kind of like fill in all the way. It's a cup. Or, it's easy for you to use this. Use the coffee filter. And now, I'm putting it in my ready made plastic bag and then just kind of like move in like this and just fix it okay and this 
since I have two more to go. So here are the bags that I already put in and they're all they're all 0.5 ounce if you have a weighing scale. So now I'm going to vacuum seal. So again you kind of like fix inside and then vacuum seal it. And make sure you put your setting into dry. Okay, that is done. You see how nice it is? And there you go. And I'm going to do the rest of this. Okay. I'm just waiting to put it down. There's another one. And we'll try this one. It's going to be a little bit noisy. See how quick that was? So that's how I do it. I use vacuum seal. Bag. To restore to restore my experiment and there you go and just fix the bag inside and here's the finished product everyone I just vacuum seal all my spearmint and now you can put a date on this one when the, when you make it. And this, um, they last for a year in your freezer. If you need to make a tea, just take it out in the freezer. And, and when you take it out in this bag, it's still fresh. It's still looking fresh. They never uh, turn brown or anything like that. So that's the finished product, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you you enjoy my video. I hope you enjoy my video and I give you a kind of like um how you how you store your spearmint. If you have a lot of spearmint in your garden, this is how you do it. Just just you you have to use a vacuum seal to restore your to restore your spearmint because if you only put a in a ziplock it's not gonna work so i already experienced this one but i, I did not share the video before because i'm just now you know starting to do my youtube channel so i just wanted to share this to you on how to store your spearmint in a vacuum seal bag so that's how easy it is guys so again thank you for watching and i hope that um i hope you guys to get an idea how to restore your spearmint again thank you for watching i'm um, continue to co put your comment down below and just ask any question if you want you know anything um i'll get back to you as soon as i can and again thank you for your support and until next time again Stay safe and healthy. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you like my video.